Okay, so I'm going to show you how to sidechain the master and also how to sidechain a vocoder, actually. What is sidechaining? Well, basically, if you imagine yourself standing in front of a marionette show and basically you can see something move, but you don't see, you know, the strings of the puppet's arms, um, sidechaining is the string. Basically, you're getting something to move with something hidden. Okay, so here's what you do. Grab, you know, any piece of music. And then create another track. And you can see that I have something running down here. It's just a simple kick. Okay, and I have it off, but it's running. It's always running. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is on my master, I already have this built, but I'll show you how to build it. I basically have, um, you know, a master channel here. I turn it on, but then I also have a pad, and I'll turn this up. Okay, and then I have my track. Turn this down. So right now, this, this pad is just going steady on, right? And basically what I want to do is take this compressor and I have it side chained to my kick drum. Okay, you see how that works? And when I go to solo it, I hear my hidden kick drum. That's the puppet string. Okay, so I have this all saved out, but it's easy. Um, go over to your um, audio effects, master. Now, not all of all of the compressors in these things are side chainable. You know, this wide and warm drums is. And what is it? So I basically have this glue compressor, and it has this side chain input. And so I say. Yeah, I'd like to try that. I mean, pretty kind of cool, a little puppet show for the kids. So then I take my input, and I have labeled my track sidechain input, no audio output, just like so. Now, when I push play, it's not going to sound quite like mine. I'm going to try to get it from memory. It's going to be something like this. Also, post effects, pre effects. Basically, if I put some effects on this, um, kick drum, those would come through, um, unless I had pre-effects selected. Then in that case, it would just go snow dead kick without effects. If I went post effects, then it would do all the audio effects that I had on it. And if I did post mixer, it's not going to work because I have it undone right there. Okay. So I'm just going to say post effects and see if we can get this pretty close. <laughs> Not as extreme, but let's see. There it is. This range is quite um, critical to it as well. Okay, and does it have to be just a straight up kick? No, it doesn't. Um, That's side chaining. And side chaining is a close relative of dummy clips. Um, here's side chaining and dummy clips. Welcome on in. Come on in, boys. Let's have a beer. Sorry. Um, but it's the same thing. A dummy clip you can't hear. You, I will talk to, about that in the last chapter. But side chaining and dummy clips are the same. It's the string to the puppet's arm. All right. So I've got that. Um, let me turn this off and at the on the pad itself um, I would like to put a vocoder on there I actually have one saved out might be quicker to do it that way so I'm gonna go user library um, audio effects uh, that's gonna be under vocoder BB chromatic 
vocoder, just like so. Okay, oh, it was already on there, whatever. Okay, so this uh, is just basically a vocoder, right? It's gonna sound not as good without my sidechain selected. So I'll just, what I'm gonna do is go external, sidechain input, and check this out. And then dry it up. Okay, I mean, that's kind of cool. Basically, um, what happens if I um, have a track going and then I have a pad with a vocoder on it and then I sidechain it to the track itself? It gets a lot more interesting. It's a little out of hand uh, level wise. So basically, just take any vocoder all the way down here. Okay, these are just rocking. Amazing. Spread it out a little bit. And it just goes on and on. I could put a compressor there and re sidechain it to the kick drum, etc. So, again, side chaining create a track that has no output or use a track that's already there and pick any of the effects that have a sidechain input. In the case of this, it's a carrier thing, carrier wave. Um, but any other plugins that have sidechain, and then route them to your tracks. And uh, you get some pretty cool effects. Now, whether anybody uses this live, I've used it live before, and so there's bound to be guys that are using it live. But as a matter of course, whether I'm writing music in live or in Logic, I always have a sidechain set up, always. The reason is that, that when you drop your tracks out, you can still retain the sense of the beat. This one's a little, you can hear that in there a little bit. Oh, that's why. Anyway, cool.